there, Max Eberle, and we're back with another break and run in eight ball. I'm going to walk you through on how to run the rack, how to decide on what shots, whether to shoot stripes or solids. And we're going to start with the break. Again, you want a solid bridge hand. I keep going back to that theme, especially when you're breaking from the bed of the table. I like to break close to the center. And it's all about keeping your line of aim grip. I want to hold it real tight when I'm lining up and then I relax it a little bit when I'm down here. So, real solid bridge hand, nice relaxed grip, but I'm kind of holding it up in my, in my front fingers, whereas normally I'm holding it in my middle finger, my ring finger mostly. I just want to focus on generating power through the cue ball. And that's one reason I'm going to look at the cue ball last. Because if you did your work to line up, then you should be able to stay on that line. Okay, I almost made this two, and looks like I did. So we get to stay at the table. Okay, the three is funny because I can only make it up in that corner past the four, or if the four ball's gone, it will go up here. Uh, the six uh, also only goes here, it might squeeze in past the 12. And then these, these balls are kind of tied up. The 11 goes in this pocket, but it's, it's tough. You've got to be right in here, maybe back here, shoot it off the rail, or you've got to be thin on the ball. And the 15 is laying real funny. So right now the stripes, they're both looking pretty tough, no matter what you choose. And the opener, there's no good opener here. This, I could cut the three right now, or I could, I could try to make the six past the four or actually go off the rail, hit the four and then go into the pocket. And let's see if we have a carom, five ball carom off the one possibly. Um, just looking at it, I don't really like that shot. Okay, so solids are pretty tough. Well, let's check out strikes. I got a couple e easy shots here. That's a plus. My main focus will be getting to this 15 as soon as possible, and, and then the 11. Uh, it's a pretty good shot here for me to get over here for the 15. Although I can do more if I'm down here. If I'm, and I'm off the rail, I could actually make it and get back out. But I'm being blocked by that 14. I, I don't think I can quite get over there off of the 13 right now. Because if, if the 14 wasn't there, I'd actually Try to get this 15 out of the way immediately. And then the 10 ball, that's being blocked. Even being blocked up there, so I'd have to clear out that 14. Okay, so one of the decisions. I, I really don't like those solids though, so. I'm gonna focus now on my strategy to run out for the stripes. And it, in my opinion, it's, it's almost always better just to go for the run out, because once you get good at this, you're gonna run out even in tough situations like this, I figured to run out here. Okay, if I do float over here, I could then get the ten. The twelve is there. I could, I could do that. And I could come under here, bump the three, and then get the 14, pull over for the, for the nine, but then that leaves me two tough shots at the end. It would be ideal to get rid of that, that 11 ball a little bit sooner instead of plucking off all my open balls. I could look at getting the 11 now. Also, I could, I could go for that cut. It's not a horrible option, actually. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make the uh, 13, or actually the nine. I could probably pull a little bit closer to the 11 with the nine. Let's do that. All right. There we go. Now, now I'm a lot closer to the 11. I, f I should be able to make this ball. I could actually play into the 10, and there's a pretty high percentage I'm gonna have a shot on the 12. 14 or 13 or even the 10 next. So I'm, let's do that. Let's make the 11 and then hit the 10, preferably on the mid, in the middle or on this side.
Okay, I hit the, that side of it, but like I said, I got a shot on the 12. Luckily, the, the 6 didn't block me, so if I'm out here on this side of the 14, I, I don't even have to bump the 6. So my next problem is the 15. And I'm, I'm going to come over here and wonder, I could actually hit the 10 off the 15 and break it out over there. I don't really have to do that if I don't want to, but you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to play. I'm going to draw off the 12 to right there. Okay, because even though I can get that 14 now, I'm in an ideal spot. I'm, I'm just going to play. I'm going to play to make the 15 next. Once it, I'm just going to dribble it up to here, and then I can play the 14, 13, and 8. All I got to do is roll this one pretty soft. There we go, even have a little angle to pull out to here. Just going to do a little blow center, hair of right. Just kind of jam it in the pocket. Now, Six is kind of blocking an easy float shot, so I got to kind of pull it back out here. And with this angle, I can avoid the eight and float down to the bottom rail. And just play the eight one rail off the bottom cushion. So all I got to do is hit a little bit above center, hit it pretty soft. If I do that, it'll go through the 13, not even touch the eight. And then I should have a good shot on the eight. All right, there we go. So like I said, you want to plan to run out. If you're playing someone who can do that, you want to be able to do that too. And what better defense is there than an offense where you keep your opponent in the chair?